Podcast is presented live from Baltimore, Scaryland, and we're at B&D Spank Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out, and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard this city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Hey, man, he's on the now. He's over here. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bullcrap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Hot one, hot two. Picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he just slipped away like a great pig. Caught for the first down. Okay, now back him. Get on, 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 get on. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? A foul, nice hit. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? And the defense goes for the juggle and rush. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Just gonna say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? Who did we get out First and ten. Batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Third down and, well, good luck. Quarterback drills one in for the first down. 
And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Oh, with the punishing hit. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. <laughs> First and four. You've got to catch that. And that'll be second down and four. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh man, he really wants it. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Here comes the defense. He's at the 20. Good go over. And never mind. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First down and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Nice pick up for six yards. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Eight. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump it. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. That's so you thought that some turkeys getting wrapped it on his back. called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Britt's mom on the phone quick i want to use 13,000 of those time warps and i'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago that ball was almost intercepted ballsy stupid maybe i guess we'll decide after we see how this goes but and the defense won that one handily the offense fails on fourth down and turns the ball over. And it's 
first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other half. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for some full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my brawl officer calls, I was with you last night, Briggs. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot... The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go into a strip tea show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Five on that play. Second down and five. Nine. Nine. And he runs it for four yards. <laughs> Third down and a pussy here. Hot one, hot two. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one, hey! And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Grim. Oh, boy. Hot, hot one. Two, hot, hot. Ah, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Hot. Why? Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. And that'll bring up third and one. One, the defender says, I don't think so. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Yeah, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not elite. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues 
with the ball plays. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawning. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And the ball is lateral, and the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Damn, yeah, man. I was going to spit on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Scrambler! And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. And I think the ginormous guy is caught. It looks like the lineman wanted to get the ball a high five. That he did, Bricks. That he did. Third down and five. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and the <laughs> Oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Second down, and he, it's the fourth quarter, and we're at the two-minute warning. Two minutes into what? Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. He's at the 10, and he scores! I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. You're a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot 
One, hot two. Hot. Hot. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. <laughs> The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. left an outline on the ground like he was oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he breaks wonder what made him so mad that was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico forever to crap their pants Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Hot. Hot one. that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something up. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard the time warp dirty trick using the advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. And he gets three yards on that run. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Perfect pass and a score! Overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. Two, hot, hot, hot. 
And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> They run it for a yard. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Your time for time. I get out The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Touchdown! lose their game in their own backyard which definitely sucks for the fan especially when your backyard is littered with dog shit like it is around here they battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done they choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks yeah oh, that's beautiful <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get a right. Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. In stores now.